And tonight we have a great lineup. I'm really excited to introduce you to Katherine Getsky. She is the founder of IFRED, which is the International Foundation for Research and Education on Depression. Um, she has been doing some incredible work um, around hope, resilience, and just a powerhouse of a woman. So I'm really excited for you guys to meet her. Kyle Smith is also here tonight. He's going to be joining us to talk about his anthems for addicts as well as sing a few songs for us. So he had um, a rough couple years, few years in um, Long Beach. And once he got clean and sober, he started singing and he says that reggae music saved his life. I say hiking saved mine, so it's all good. <laughs> and we also have Melissa Gessinger here. She is legit one of my favorite humans. We met on tour last year in Santa Rosa and we shut down the REI parking lot, jamming in the van, just talking about life. And Melissa has an incredible story. She has survived some of the most outrageous things I've ever heard of as far as like a list of things to get through. Um, one of which being she lost everything she owns, her entire home and everything in it burned down um, a few years ago in one of the California wildfires. So one of the things that Melissa and I were talking about and one of the greatest gifts I got on the trip on the tour last year was this concept of like being able to exhale after trauma and what it feels like to walk around holding your breath literally and proverbially um, after surviving some traumatic events. So really excited to bring Melissa on as well. Welcome to Hiking My Feelings TV. Ooh, dropping mics, throwing them down. I love your hope. I'm gonna like raise the roof for that. <laughs> it's so good. Man, I'm, I'm glad that you found hope because uh, this community would not be what it is without your presence, Jess. So I'm very thankful that you're here. That's what I'm grateful for today is that everybody here is here despite everything they've been through because nobody in this chat has had an easy life. So thank you guys so much for sharing that. So tomorrow, I, guys, tomorrow's gonna be dope. So we have, uh, what's today? Yeah, tomorrow. Gary Ware is leading a improv exercise where we build stories together. Um, he is the founder of Breakthrough Play. He was my improv instructor. He's basically Yoda. Um, so like have your journal ready, bring a pen. Shanti Hodges, who's the founder of Hike It Baby. So if there's anybody out there that's looking to do more adventures with their little ones, Shanti literally wrote the book on it. She hiked the Appalachian Trail with a kid on her back from Georgia to Maine. Through hiked that trail with a baby in her backpack. Like, this chick is legit. And also, Marionetta Defren is a Girl Trek um, squad leader, or a Girl Trek uh, leader and she Girl Trek is an organization that works to get more black people outside and so her mission is to get more black families outside so tomorrow we're gonna learn how to remember how to play with Gary because grown-ups forget how to play and then we're going to talk about what it's like to adventure with your littles because just because you have kids doesn't mean that you can't be outdoorsy and I'm just really excited about everything we've got going on tomorrow so thank you guys so much for being here if you're on YouTube thank you for joining us a uh, quick reminder about donations. If you got anything out of tonight, which I hope you did, you can donate at hikingmyfeelings.org slash give. That is where you can make a one-time donation. If you want to join us um, for the rest of the Zoom chats this week, so you can ask questions, get answers, um, get some great prizes from our uh, sponsors and partners, then you can join us at hikingmyfeelings.org slash campfire. We have day passes for 20 bucks a day or you can do a hundred dollars donation for an all access pass. And we do have a couple of the VIP campfire kits left. We are shipping those out tomorrow. So for everybody that signed up for our VIP all access pass, your box is on the way. Thank you so much for your patience. COVID just completely derailed all of the shipments and stuff from our partners and their supplies. So we really appreciate your patience with that. So if anybody out there wants a campfire kit, 
go to hikingbyfeelings.org slash campfire, check out the VIP all access pass, and you can join us there. So how'd that go? Good. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. that it? We still got well, that? Well, <laughs> the importance of showing up to sound check is, is a... Is, is it a... sound sounds good if you show up to sound check. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. the rule. That's why we have it. <laughs> Kyle. All right. You ready to eat some muffins? Yes. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome to Hiking My Feelings Virtual Campfire. This is campfire number 15. We've been doing this for a hot minute now. I am really excited to have everybody here today. Thank you so much for joining us. So today I'm going to be reading from chapter 14. If you're following along, um, this starts on page 179. And at the end of chapter 13, I was in my first uh, campground on the second trip across the Trans-Catalina Trail. Rocking the shirt today, feeling a little fancy. So this chapter is called Bison Chips. Again, we're on page 179 and we're getting ready to make our way to Little Harbor. So here we go. So for everybody on YouTube, we will see you tomorrow. Um, <laughs> guys, this is the one that I've been looking forward to. I'm not going to say the most, but that I'm the most um, excited about in that this lineup is so impactful and really represents what we're trying to build here at Hiking My Feelings um, in that Sue, who owns the Reggae Ranch, is our first guest. Um, she is one of the most incredible women I've ever met in my entire life. Like I actually don't have words to describe the friendship and relationship and partnership that we've been able to build here. Um, but I'm really excited to have a chat with her. Um, Natalie Rise is our musical guest tomorrow. And if you aren't familiar with Natalie Rise, um, she is part of a band, um, it's her band, and they're, the mix of people in the band are from Australia and Jamaica, and her most recent song that she released is called One Love Is Action, and it's part of a series of uh, music that was came out of COVID and this Cali Roots Festival that happens every year in May. Um, they got a track and gave it to a bunch of different artists and then they wrote their own lyrics to it, sang their own song to it, but the beats and everything, the music part of it is the same. Um, and Natalie Rise's version of that track is called One Love Is Action. And given everything that's going on in the world right now, um, and as a reggae artist, I know that that's something that she very much lives, breathes, and personifies. So I'm just really excited for her energy tomorrow because where I found, the chapter I'm reading tomorrow is called Embrace My, Embracing Your Stink. And it's about how I just shed all the things about my body, my appearance, my personality, all the things that people had told me I need to change or fix to fit into this like very narrow box. I let go of all of that. And at the top of this mountain on the Trans Catalina Trail on Catalina Island, I felt like I was superwoman. And I felt so empowered and so embodied and just absolutely incredible. And the next time that I felt that was when I saw Natalie Rise perform for the first time. So she came out and she just sucks the entire energy of the room directly into like where she is. Like her whole body, she is a beacon of hope and inspiration and justice and love. And I'm given everything that's going on right now, like I couldn't think of a better time to have her join us. Um, and I couldn't think of a stronger message that represents what we believe here um, through the power of her music. So she's our performer and we'll be doing an interview tomorrow. And then lastly, and certainly not least, um, Serena Rana Default, who is the founder of Trails Inspire. Um, we met last year in person at, in Tucson at the, one of the talks I did at Summit Hut. And this woman, she's hiked the Arizona Trail, which spans the entire state. Um, she's li she literally wrote the book on the day hikes that you can do on that trail. She's a Canyon, um, Grand Canyon River guide. She does trail work, like she just got a grant to extend some of the trails in her area. Like this woman, when I think of trails and community and building, like literally building communities of people and building trails, like Serena is one of the most inspiring women I've ever met. Like, and to like put this into perspective, when we went and we sat at, with her at her house, like she's one of those people where she sits down and she's just like, Ugh. like she's anchored, she's rooted, like she is the epitome of grounding and me just spending time around her, I'm like, her energy in that way is contagious. So like the lineup tomorrow from top to bottom is everything that I wanna see more of in the world. Um, it's a diverse group. It's a group that's been through shit 
and isn't afraid to talk about it. Um, and I'm just really excited for what we've got going on tomorrow. So definitely come join us tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, we're going to peace out. If you're in the Zoom, stick around because we always like to chat for a little bit after we end these things. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here and have a great rest of your, your evening. Wave bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> what you got going on there? I'm uh, tumbling a uh, michelada. Yeah. So I can get some uh, mango and clamato in my face. There you go. Yeah. How are you? All right. That was really fun. That was a good one. Yeah. I was on uh, my phone uh, tethering for all of that. How did it sound? Fine. Okay, cool. Because I could not hear Gary and I was like, I'm not going to do my whole thing yeah. like this. Um, but that was really good. Okay. It was super fun. Yeah, I mean, at times, like, uh, the screen, like, froze, but the audio was fine. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't know that you were tethering. Like, I didn't notice the difference. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, so I, I, I did, because I was like, I can't hear Gary, and I can't have this interview be botched, because I can't hear him. So. Right. It was doing that thing where it's like. Yeah, nice work. But yeah. No, Marionette's awesome. Shanti's awesome. That was fun. Yep. It was a good one. Cool beans. Uh. So how about tomorrow? Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the one. It's the big one. It's a big one. Dude. I know. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> okay, let's clean up. Let's All do right. this. What's going on, Mrs. Williams? Oh, hello. What you doing here? Uh, I'm just sitting, getting ready to talk to Natalie Rice. Yeah, you doing your pre uh, pre show ritual? Pre show ritual. You want to talk about your pre show ritual? I like to listen to Nako and Ayaterra, and then I added Alien and um, uh, a song by Natalie Rice. All uh, right. The One Love Is Action to today's ritual. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You what ready are you doing? for this? I don't know. Am I? Oh. <laughs> What day is this? 16. 16? Yeah. Well, you've had 15 practice drives. Yeah. I think you'll probably get it right on this one. Yeah, I'm hoping so. All right. Yeah. That's all I got. Well, have a good show. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. I am reading tonight from chapter 15 called Embracing, Embrace Your Stink. This is one of my favorite chapters of all time of this book. So here we go. If you are joining us and reading along, we're on page 193 in the hard copy. And at the end of chapter 14, we left, uh, we were getting ready to leave to go to Two Harbors. And on our first hike across the Trans Catalina Trail back in 2016, we didn't get farther than Two Harbors. So anything beyond Two Harbors is new territory for us. So here we go. Embrace your stink. Chapter 15. I like that. I love that I can evolve and change and grow and learn and challenge who I used to be yesterday and be someone new tomorrow if I need that. So I'm really grateful for that freedom. Bye. Well, <sighs> that was so frustrating. <laughs> I know. There was huh? like the energy was like, I'm just so bummed. <laughs> like the internet, like I felt like Zion I and I were like twisting worlds and. And then the con like the I don't know if it was just the technology connection or just like I don't know what it was, but it was like I was I was just bummed. Yeah, I mean that. it is what it is. Did it's it go coming well? From space. Like yeah, no, I thought it went well. Were the questions okay, considering I couldn't hear anything she said. Like <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought okay. it went fine. Okay. I mean you could hear it. It's just you know the it was the it was all on her end. Okay. You know because I mean I was watching yours and the flames were flickering and everything was fine and then on her end it was just super super choppy. Okay. It is what it is. It's coming from space, man. Yeah, man. You can't rush it when it comes from space. How'd Sue do? Sue did awesome. Yeah. Sue crushed it. What'd you think, Sue? What's that face? I thought it was great. You did great. <laughs> I felt like I just babbled on and on and on and didn't really make a point. <laughs> no, you made the point. Did I? The point at the end, I was like, mic drop. There it is. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, is like, not everything has to have a point. And you managed to make one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You crushed it. Thanks. I'd tell you if you sucked. <laughs> you, yes, I would. <laughs> now, you would have kept asking me questions until I got there. Right. That's what you would have done. Right, so you got there because I didn't have to ask you more questions. So you didn't cut me off because I sucked. No. <laughs> I didn't have to, like, hook you out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear, I think you crushed it, and I think when you watch it back, you'll agree with me. But you know, whatever, it's up to you. <laughs> oh, we did it. We got. Now you know what it's like when I have to talk to her about things. <laughs> like I thought you did great. Oh, I didn't think that. No, I thought it was great, and you watch it back, it's gonna be fine. And and then you watch it back, and then what happens? And it's fine. Yeah. And then I go, Hey, Barry, guess what? You were right, like you are all the time. Most of the time. Right. Except for when you ask me to do math. Right. Well, you know. That's okay. Spell things. <laughs> you know, numbers and letters, not maybe your thing, but. You know, it's okay. <laughs> Next time on Hiking My Feelings TV. Pretty much what I have going on, everybody. So where can people find you online, and uh, how can they support you if they want to throw a little virtual tip jar your way? Mm, so my actually my Instagram and my Venmo and everything is just at Aaron Wolf Music. And I've been doing this really cool thing on TikTok recently where I just, I felt like so many people were focusing on division and taking si sides and stances for what they believe in. And oftentimes we lose... Um, track I, th I feel like of why we're standing up for something or against something else and it's really based off of like love and our our desire for everyone to be treated the right way and shit. so I just started driving around and um, rolling down my window and being like hey I hope you have a really great day God bless you and catching people off guard with kindness and it started like kind of picking up so I've actually been spending a little more time on TikTok than I probably should. <laughs> but um, there's also my, my hand on there is at Aaron Wolf Music. So I would rather any tips just go to the cause with this because I think that what you guys are doing is beautiful and I'm thankful to be a part of it. Well, thank you so much for being here. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> awesome. Thank Hi, you so much, Aaron. Okay. Thank you. Peace.